In this video I will explain in a simple way how you can connect a switch to turn on or off a light from two different positions. To turn on or off a light from two different positions you can do it using three-way switches or also known as staircase switches. Here is the electrical circuit, below is the step-by-step -step explanation. We have a point where the octagonal box is and two rectangular boxes where the switches will go. This is widely used in stairs or in rooms. It is assumed that the phase and neutral power cables are already wired up to point 1. Here they are shown small, but obviously you are going to leave it at least 10 centimeters so you can make the splice. Also, from point 1 there must be the pipes that go to each switch box. Having all this, the wiring is very easy. The switches to be used have to be three-way switches, which have three terminals to connect. These terminals are usually designated as common terminal L1 and L2. Then, from one of the switch boxes, three cables are sent, which will go through point one and then to the second switch. It is suggested that you use two cables of the same color and one that is a different color, in order not to get confused in the connection. In the switches, the two cables of the same color must be connected to terminals 1 and 2, the order does not matter. While the cable of a different color, you must connect it to the common terminal, in both switches. Then, the cable of a different color, which for this case I have considered red, is cut at point 1. One of the ends is connected to the phase, while the other end of the cable is connected to the central terminal of the socket. Finally, the neutral cable is connected to the terminal of the socket indicated by the threaded part, and that's it. If you do not know which is the phase cable, you can detect it with a pole finder, which is sold in any hardware store. If in this case you have two phases, there is no problem, anyone can go. And if you connect the neutral to the switches, it will still work, but it is suggested that you make the connection as indicated. Warning, you must be careful not to manipulate live cables, unless it is only to detect the phase with the pole finder. Once we have everything wired and connected, the socket is secured and the light is placed. If everything is fine, when you press a switch, the light should turn on. When you press the same switch or the other one, the light should turn off. If in this case it stays on and does not turn off, it is because something has been connected wrong in the switches, but don't worry. As long as you do not connect the phase and the neutral, there will be no short circuit. Just de-energize the cables and correct the error by changing the position of the cables between the switch terminals. There are switches that have the terminals in different positions, as shown in this photograph, but it is marked which terminal is the common. Remember that the common terminal of one switch goes to the phase and the other switch goes to the light. Well friend, that's all for this video. If you liked it, give it a like and share. If you want to learn something else, comment below. If you want to know how to connect more lights to switches, here at the end are the videos, go and take a look. See you later.